With its upcoming launch of Windows 10, Microsoft has done quite well. This is Moose and today we'll be talking about Microsoft's new release. This is still a preview edition, so things might be a bit different to the final release. At the very first glance, the OS looks awesome. This is definitely a big change from its older versions. The 1007 is definitely less glitchy. Welcome back, Start Menu. The favorite start menu is back combined with 8.1 window styles kind of a feel. Must say they have been cleverly fused together. By dragging horizontally and vertically, the start menu can be expanded to change the way it looks. The all apps section is organized alphabetically starting with the recently added ones on the very top. All apps are scrollable to navigate to different apps. All your favorite apps can be pinned or unpinned to the Tiles Windows section. Resizing these tiles are swift and easy. You can also turn them off or remove them completely by just right clicking on them. The start menu can very quickly swap from the desktop mode to tablet mode. The tablet mode is different too which has a transparent view of the background. However, all the other windows would go back into a tile kind of a view, which was similar to Windows 8.1 in the tablet view section. Applications were scrollable, similar to how it was in the normal start menu. Going back to the navigations and turn this off by hitting the tablet option. Icons look quite crisp in the new Windows section with a bezel-free look. Snapping windows is improved, allowing snapping to the corners and to the side, boosting productivity. Speaking about productivity, we have this quadrant view along with Alt-Tab that gives you a task view which is looking simple and with no animations. And in addition, you have a multi-desktop that you can create as many as you like setting programs as you require into individual desktops, providing quick access and room for more apps. Not much happening here as Microsoft Store looks similar to the previous versions with the same white kind of window with free apps on the very top, related apps in the middle and new apps by scrolling down. All these apps are scalable to the way you want to look at it. Now looking at the music and video apps in Windows 10, they look similar to the Xbox Media, which provides streaming of Xbox Media content. I just pan them side by side to show you how they look. And yes, while well, Xbox is now within Windows, on the left hand side we will see navigation options. The main large window in the center gives you a quick glance of recent games played, achievements, activity feeds and on the right hand section you have friends whom you've shared content with. It allows you to connect to your Xbox One. On the tile section I saw something called Project Spartan which looks like a replacement to Internet Explorer. I believe they're calling this one the Microsoft Edge. All the windows have a bezel free look, so does the new Spartan. The favorite section gives way to reading list, history, download within it. Beside it you will have the web notes section that gives us an option to make notes over the web pages. That's a new thing that Project Spartan has introduced with two types of pen points the thin one and the stencil kind of a feel more square kind of a pointer. We have clear all option which we can clear all and annotation option that allows you to put points on the web page directly by clicking the annotation option. And finally we have a snapshot tool that allows you to take clips off the web page by using the clip tool. Have it easily saved and shared by clicking the options on the web notes section on the very right. You have an option to give feedback on the uh, Project Spartan itself. I think that would be taken out once we are in the final release. 
and you can share your web pages very swiftly as well. The find option within the project Spartan is similar to the XML type where it highlights the word you are searching for, in this case Xbox. Hey Cortana! Yes, Cortana seems to like chatting. Microsoft delivered Cortana as a digital assistant for devices and is now making her first appearance with Windows 10. Hoping to make your experience more personal as she's getting her intelligence from Bing, the Microsoft search engine. So guys, stop using Google or you will have a dumb Cortana. Thankfully, she is also tied up with Microsoft Cloud Infrastructure. That's the good news because we all wouldn't want to miss using Cortana. Allowing capabilities to update continually, it will provide weather forecast and launch apps quite okay. You can definitely disable Cortana if you do not appreciate her reading through all your stuff and making you feel creepy. Overall navigating and using different options in the OS we're getting used to, otherwise they seem fine. The big question is how much does it cost? For the one year of its release, Windows 10 would be free to upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8. So go ahead and download it on the very first year. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if not already. Till the next time, be safe.